Hey kids community, I'm so excited to share with you our memory verse that we're studying all together this fall as we continue studying the stories of God's people found in the Old Testament part of the Bible. And the memory verse that we're going to be focusing on comes from Psalm 136, and we're going to learn verses 1 through 4 this month. And these words are really cool because these are actually like a prayer or a worship song that maybe the people of God recited together or sang together to remind them of God's goodness, of his love, that he was more powerful and greater than anything else in all the earth because he is the one true God who made us and his love endures forever. In fact, we're going to say that phrase over and over again. So try it with me. It says, his love endures forever. Great job, you guys. So let me teach you these words so that maybe you could practice reciting these over and over to have them memorized in your heart. Okay, are you guys ready? Okay, this is what it says. It says, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of Lords. His love endures forever. To him alone who does great wonders, his love endures forever. Awesome job, you guys. And where do we find that in the Bible? Psalm 136 verses 1 through four. Great job, you guys. Let's try it one more time all together. And as we recite this, use it as a prayer to God saying, God, help me to remember how good and loving and big you are, that no matter what I'm going through, your love endures forever. Okay, you guys ready? Okay, here we go. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His love endures forever. To him alone who does great wonders, his love endures forever. Psalm 136 verses 1 through 4. Awesome job, you guys. Keep practicing these words. Write them down. May even make up a song or a dance to go with them and try to use them as a reminder that God is with you. He loves you. And no matter what you're going through, whether you're feeling sad or scared or lonely or there's something going on in the world that you're just like, God, I don't know what to do with it. You can say, God, I'm still trusting you and remembering that you, your love endures forever. You are a loving, good, big God. So try practicing this prayer at home. And we'll see you next week. Bye, you guys.